How's it going, you outlaw legends? I'm Red Nitrate, your resident Red Dead addict, and welcome to my legendary bear and bear claw talisman guide. Um, so this talisman um, is fairly involved to get, uh, however it is quite worth it. It reduces your health core drain by 10%. Um, but we will be focusing on the legendary bear portion of the quest, which uh, will yield you the legendary bear claw, which is sort of the first ingredient that you'll need. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is come to my location. Now this is, in at least in my experience, is pretty much the only fixed uh, legendary animal spawn in the game just because of it being tied to the chapter 2 mission with Hosea where you hunt it down then but if you don't see the question mark where I am search this area sort of here um, when you get a notification saying you're in legendary animal territory you're in the right area and then you're going to want to find this little question mark which will pop up on your map when you're close um, if you come into Eagle Eye, you'll see it highlighted with the yellow sparks, and you can come over and investigate the first clue. There we go. Yeah, still a ways. Alright, so... Oh, yep, yeah, can see that up ahead. Make our way over there. Bit of bear dung to brighten our day. It's just what Getting you want. Close. Um. Alright, so. And for anyone interested, I am using a um, bolt action rifle with high velocity bullets. So interestingly, usually there's three clues, but in this situation, I guess, because we already. Oh, it's part of that mission. It's already showing the legendary animal. So we just got to sneak up on it. And knock off a few of these rounds into its head brain. Load it up. Hopefully this will get it. Oh, oh, I thought we might have to go another round, but no, we got it, we got it. Yeah, I was expecting more clues than that, but we came up on it nice and quickly. Um, so, let's quickly... It's quite an interesting uh, death pose you've done there, Mr. Bear. <laughs> Sprawled itself out, just like, ah. <laughs> chillin', bro. Straight chillin'. A little too chilled, you know? Alright, so, skin that. Mind the, uh, the gory mess that's about to ensue. Oh dear lord. <laughs> that was a little much, Arthur. I mean, really. I don't need to see inside of the carcass. Alright, so we got the legendary bear pelt and importantly the legendary bear claw, which you can see there. Um, so that is uh, the first ingredient for the bear claw talisman. Um, you are, of course, going to want to go and drop off the pelt at your nearest trapper. Um, it's the symbol there, and that would be the closest one, uh, as that gets you various, uh, goes towards various clothing unlocks. Um, however, for the talisman, other than the bear claw um, itself, Unlike trinkets, you need a few other items for talismans. So on top of the legendary bear claw, you're also going to need a quartz chunk and a silver chain bracelet. Um, and I will be showing you how to get both of those items in the next segments of the video. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. So first up, you're going to need a quartz chunk, which looks like this which is obtained by mailing in one of the dinosaur bone locations from the Test of Faith mission, which can be triggered by speaking to Deborah at this location. 
You can collect any of the 30 dinosaur bones. I've just selected this one because it's uh, close to a post office, which we'll be needing next. Uh, so the specific location for this dinosaur bone is just above the O in New Hanover. You can see there's just a little little house here. So if you come to the corner where I am, activate your eagle eye and uh, come over and record the location in your journal. Alrighty, so we've got the dinosaur bone location. Next thing you're going to want to do is head over to your nearest post office, which in my case is at Emerald Ranch. And uh, we'll continue the court's guide there. All right, so just coming up on the post office in Emerald Ranch now. Uh, but as I stated before, you can go to any post office on the map, whatever is most convenient to the dinosaur bone location that you found. And yeah, if you need any more information on the uh, dinosaur bone do do? mission, I've got a full guide already on the channel, which I'll link in the well, description hello, below. Man. So yeah, come to the station clerk, go to send to mail, send. then send the dinosaur bone location. Alright, so you see there you've mailed at least one dinosaur bone location to Deborah McGuinness. Return to any post office after at least 24 hours for your reward, which uh, will contain the quartz chunk that you will need for the bear claw talisman. So I ended up sleeping for about 36 hours, and as you can see, I've got the uh, new mail Welcome notification back. on the top left hand corner. So receive mail. And there it is, quartz chunk. That's what we want. I grab that. Uh, I'll give everyone a quick looky loo. So, yeah, heavy chunk of quartz used to craft a unique item at the fence. Uh, so, next up, we'll uh, be getting the silver chain bracelet. And yeah, stay tuned for that. Now, the silver chain bracelet only has one guaranteed fixed spawn location. And it's to do with a random encounter, a particularly disturbing one, I might add, over at the Aberdeen Pig Farm, um, sort of between Emerald Ranch and Saint Denis. Um, now, if you have already done this, you will find it more difficult to get a hold of a silver chain bracelet, but don't fret, I will be covering some additional methods later in the guide. But yeah, come over to the Aberdeen Pig Farm, and uh, come up the sort of little walkway, driveway type thing over here. Now you can see this truly disturbing mission all the way through until its conclusion, but for our purposes, that's not necessary. Uh, if you want to do it the quick way like me, just uh, blast them to hell. Let's just say they're particularly nasty people, so there won't be any uh, guilt, uh, feelings of guilt or tears shed over their demise. I can quite assure you of that. <laughs> so just come over and loot the woman that you've just freshly pumped full of lead. And you'll see, just a second, we've got there the silver chain bracelet. So as I say, only guaranteed way of getting it. Hopefully you can do it via this, um, this random encounter. Uh, if you haven't done this one before, I am incredibly sorry for the horrors in which you've seen if you did the mission properly. Um, but uh, if by any chance you have done this already, uh, stay tuned and we'll be covering some additional methods for getting it. So another option for the silver chain bracelet is to come over to Watson's cabin. Now, this is where the grumpy old woman lives with her three gunslinger kids, where you have various random encounters throughout the game. Um, so come over here. Then you're going to want to save the game about where I am now. Uh, so you'll have the option of reloading it. 
Um, but basically inside is a small jewelry box next on the bedside table next to the old woman's bed. Um, and you have a chance of getting the silver chain bracelet. Then if you don't get it, just reload the game and try again. And there we have it, a silver chain bracelet. So it will potentially take you quite a few goes. I think this took me about 10 uh, reloads from the save point that I showed you earlier. Um, but yeah, definitely can get it from here. It might just take a little bit of work. Um, if you're, for some reason, I'm unable to get it at these two locations that I've provided, the only other option that you'll really have is to go around and search the various houses that you can find on the map. And if uh, you go inside and you find a jewelry box, just make sure that you save the game before grabbing it and then you can reload it and essentially re-roll your chances of getting a silver chain bracelet as when you reload the RNG randomizers again. And um, if you can't manage to do it that way, the only other method that I've really heard of is robbing women at gunpoint on trains. Alright, the final step in crafting your bear claw talisman is come to your nearest fence, in my case Emerald Ranch, and bring your quartz chunk, your silver chain bracelet, and your legendary bear claw over to Seamus, oh, go Mister. to Craft, oh, have yourself a quick nosy. Got a little and kick Bear Claw now, huh? Trinket, purchase that, it's what we want, that will take away all of the items we've just okay. spent so long collecting, uh, there we have it, we got the Bear Claw Talisman, permanently decreases the speed at which the health core drains by 10%. Pretty cool looking, and one of the, the better trinket slash talismans out there, if I do say so myself. So I hope that you did find my legendary bear and bear claw talisman guide useful. If you did, please slap a like down below. And uh, if you want to see more content like this, please also consider subscribing as well. All of those things really do help out the channel a lot. And yeah, I will catch you all on the next video. I'm Red Nitrate. Stay legendary, everyone. Bye now.